In this video, we're going to look at using the Google AdWords tool for keyword discovery. So I'll show you how I like to use the tool. Uh, we're doing this uh, keyword discovery exercise around the term engagement rings. And we saw that this site here, Hezelberg.com, is a top ranking site for this term. So let's actually go to the site that's ranking. It's ranking number one for engagement rings. And I'm going to just grab the URL of the page where it's at. Then I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to search Did you know you could just search right there in the URL field? You can. I'm going to search external keyword tool and the first result I get is going to be Google AdWords keyword tool. This is a way to use AdWords even if you don't have an AdWords account. Google AdWords is the tool that generates all Google's revenue. Um, when you search, you get, as we learned earlier, uh, organic results and then uh, advertising results, paid results. Earned, paid. Earned would be the algorithmic search results. Paid would be the uh, AdWords results. And this is where, this is the tool that people use to figure out what keywords they're going to bid against to have their ads show up. Now, most people will go ahead and type the term in here and then hit search and get um, suggestions that way. That's not how I like to use this tool. The way I like to use it is I like to analyze top ranking sites. So let's paste in the URL of the site that is ranking number one for engagement rings and let's see what's recommended based on an analysis of that site. And these are the different terms. So engagement rings, well, we already know that, but solitaire engagement rings, we didn't know. Wedding rings is another. Jewelry engagement rings is another term. Engagement rings singular diamond rings, bridal rings, these are all going to be good terms for us to consider. Now, keep in mind that because this tool is designed to get you to buy advertising, to buy paid links on the right-hand side of the search results, they're going to be more aggressive in recommending different terms that you should go for. You're still going to need to validate and qualify these terms, but let's say I like these. I can check them all like that and they'll all wind up here in my keyword ideas and then when I'm done I can just copy all these and take them with me into a text file and use them to search engine optimize my on-page content. I can use them in my browser page title. I can use them in my meta page description. It doesn't bother. It's not worth putting them in my meta keywords because Google disregards that information anyways. This would not be a good application of that. Um, but this is a great tool now for me to expand my awareness. One more thing I'll show you about the external AdWords tool that's kind of useful is you can sort by any of these columns. Right now it's sorted by competition. But if I click on Go uh, Global Monthly Searches, now I can see that uh, these are the top search terms, but they're not that competitive. It's probably because the likelihood that someone searching jewelry is going to convert and buy a diamond ring is very low. Jewelry is a broad topic. They could be searching for any number of things. Diamonds and diamonds, again, could be just searching for diamonds for a necklace or for earrings. Um, they're not specific. But you see, as the um, competition gets higher, uh, the search also gets lower because these are more exact terms. So there's always going to be fewer people searching uh, engagement ring than ring, right? But 
ring has a low probability of conversion. So it may have a lot of global monthly searches, but not have a lot of competition because the likelihood of conversion is low. Now, competition here refers to people bidding to come up first for that term in Google AdWords. It is not how competitive it is from a search engine optimization standpoint. Nevertheless, I think it is fair to assume that if there's a lot of attention focused on specific keywords from a paid standpoint, from a, uh, a pay-per-click standpoint, then chances are organizations are starting to look at those terms if they're not already looking at them already for organic search optimization as well. So this is just a basic little introduction to how you can expand your awareness of potential keywords that might be good ones for you to rank for using the Google AdWords uh, external keyword tool.